Another one done? It's just for anybody in any doubt. <laughs> so these are actually being made in some kind of Chinese sweatshop. Very productive. And for anybody else who might want some of your wares? Yeah. Head to Etsy uh, or Kadoe.com. <laughs> Whilst Carly and Hank are just up the front there being treated to another little uh, display by some more dolphins, we're about an hour away now from the anchorage that we've chosen for tonight. It's called Hope Cove. And this isn't actually originally where we were planning to stop. We were heading off to a couple of anchorages to explore that we've never been before in the Torquay area, but the wind's basically shifting. It's coming around from sort of the northeast to the east. And so we need an anchorage to protect us from the wind in that direction. And Hope Cove is a bit further than we intended to travel but it looks good. Um, there's some feedback that the holding isn't always great. Make sure you're getting the sand. So I think we're gonna arrive, drop the anchor, I'll put the wetsuit on, jump in, make sure we're bedded in the sand. And there are an almighty amount of jellyfish. I kid you not, I look over the side of the boat and it, and it literally looks like a game of space invaders. There's just these compass jellyfish with their long stinger tentacles just flying past relentlessly. So. Hopefully I don't get stung, but I'm putting the wetsuit on and that's the plan. Come to do a bit of Donald Dog. A very good morning to you from an absolutely beautiful looking Hope Cove. Look at that, the sun's just coming up over the cliffs. Now, despite the fact that the sheer volume of jellyfish make looking over the edge of the boat look like something out of a, a 1980s computer game, Space Invaders, that's what I'm thinking of. Space Invaders. Despite that, the water's crystal clear, so I really want to get in there and have an explore and take you guys with me. Hopefully, find some lunch, but look at this. All right, let's try and harvest as much of that power as we can. Let's get the flint sail up. Before Dominic takes you on a hunt for dinner, I want to say a huge thank you. 
I've just been through some of the dolphin footage and it really is amazing and we wouldn't have been able to capture a lot of that without the direct support that we get through you guys. So a huge thank you to all of these people who have supported us directly through Patreon or through the run button on our website. But an extra special thank you to Peter Cranstone who sent through some of his old filming equipment all the way from the USA which has really added a whole new dimension to our videos. So we really hope you like what we've done with it and a huge huge thank you, really appreciated that. Let's go see how Dominic's getting on. On the legal limit, 42 centimetres there for a bass. Let me just push that back. So, uh, obviously, I am denied a little bit, and I think it's about right. And there we are. Dinner. Thank you for your sacrifice, mate. Wowzers. Dinner. survival flint I don't know it doesn't really give off much of a spark I built my little grid I learned this when I was on summer camp in school so hopefully this will work ah. there we go we are rocking and rolling
it's such a pristine beach. I thought, oh, I'll do my bit. I'll go clear up some stray litter. I didn't know what it was from a distance. And I get there, and it's unused coals. Ah. <laughs> so this must be one of those things. We know we saw some firewood already here yeah. when we got here. Someone's, yeah. maybe they stored them, or are they not hidden? No, they're just out in the open. I think it's kind of like we didn't need them all, so, you know, people leave a little bit more and tidy up after themselves, then that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So technically that's foraged. <laughs> that's not a co-op special from us. That's that is foraged. a foraged coal. Yeah. All right, so after a cracking fishing session, we have got this amazing beach all to ourselves. It's a lovely spot. And at high tide, you can only get to it by boat. So we've got the place to ourselves. Rustled up a little fire, sun setting, and we're gonna have our meal of the day. Nice and simple. Fish from nature, cooked on fire. Ah, can't wait. Freshly caught bass fillets. Beauty, what have you put on here? I can smell garlic, butter, herbs. Yeah, yeah garlic, butter, a bit of olive oil, some it's a tar, I think it's called. It's like a Middle Eastern spice mix and oh, also okay. a bit of fennel and paprika. It. Looks amazing. Right, so we're going to close all that up. Let me just move the flamey bits out of the way and just ooh, put that on the coals. Beautiful. Turn this into an oven. A little oven. I think we're not the first people in the world that have thought of this. We'll just hopefully get a slightly more even cook. <laughs> I joke. There's a lot of truth said in jest. <laughs> This has been on here, what, for about 20 minutes, you reckon? Yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. Now it's complete. Good? Oh my gosh. It's good. Isn't it? That's really good. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. 20 minutes in the stone oven on the beach. Mwah. 